I don't know what they are, but they suck. Like, yeah, they do. Okay. Fuck them. They're useful, but I hate them. <laughs> All right. So, a tradition spanning over 4,000 years. The Radiant Festival of Absalon stands as a testament to the enduring spirit and cultural achievements of its people. This grand celebration observed every century symbolizes the city's strength and unity through countless ages. Sieges. Oops. After a long absence, the centennial celebration has returned with unprecedented, vib unprecedented vibrancy, drawing attendees from all corners of the globe. Most join in the revelry, celebrating the audacity of the human spirit, while others harbor darker intentions, eager to exploit the occasion and strike at the heart of the city and its people. Standing in their way is a cobbled together constabulary sworn to protect and preserve the people of this great city. These courageous men and women are known as the agents of Edgewatch. These are their stories. And so we begin session one, pretty much. Oh, yeah. Where we got a look into some private moments from uh, each of the four characters. Um, yeah, I was going to go into them, but now we're not going to worry about that. Um, Sir, yes. Quick. My screen on your stream is very messed up. I think you pulled up. Oh no! Discord. Something happened. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know why. There you go. It's all puppies. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Wait, hold on. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now I'm covering now Andy's he's, yep. forehead. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. <laughs> so close. You're encroaching on. There has to be an easy way, easier way to do that. No, that was because I opened the soundboard up. No. Oh. See. Hmm. Ah, oh, right yeah. Up. Well, no, it was, it was actually like working. that before you did that, but. Got to come up with a different way. All right. Anyway. So, um, yeah. And you had, um, we started a session. You guys were getting your, you had your getting ready for pass and review with the uh, commander of the Edge Watch, Gospect Lavarsis, Lieutenant. Okay. Prospect Lavarsis. Let me actually uh, try to add some images when I mention these folks. All right. There he is, right there. The uh, beefcake, the hunk. He uh, thinks something. So. <clears throat> Looks like that hunk's got a bit of gristle on him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think he's a mama's boy. And uh, you also um, met or interacted with Sergeant Alo, the 12 year old d dwarf in disguise. Sergeant, hello. Who is He's kind of. Baby face. He's, uh, <laughs> That's definitely a child in like a fake beard. <laughs> you got that scar from playing on the roof. It's hard to see. He fell off the monkey bars. Yeah. Uh, he is the senior officer of the Edge Watch. Pretty much well liked by everyone. Um. He's the senior, uh, the the senior officer, but Lavarsus is the big. Yeah. Big man. Mm -hmm. Um, and oddly enough, he usually grumbles about getting too old for this kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, once he hits he's four, really three. laying it on thick. I'm old, don't he, you know? I'm... He does kind of look like you know a prepubescent like Danny Glover. Yeah, prepubescent Danny Glover. That's pretty Very good. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I got 
275 years to retirement. <laughs> is he a dwarf? Yes, he is a dwarf. Okay. <laughs> we were we spent so long riffing on the part that I missed that part. <laughs> And in this pass and review, Sergeant really likes to make you just, uh, I mean, not the Sergeant, the Captain, Lieutenant. Um, yeah, he just kind of made you stand there for a while, didn't pay any attention to you, lit a cigar, smoked it, went through some papers, and then finally just started dressing you guys down. Reminding you that you are not adventurers mercenaries you are peacekeepers and you're more there to just look good don't make him look bad was it was it he warned and uh dismissed you shortly afterwards sergeant allo uh, got you all set up with your patrol uh, patrol route and uh, more or less kind of shuffled you out the door you're like this is it you, you know you've gone through the training you've gone through the civics course on the on the founding laws and how the criminal justice system works and before you know it, you're out in the streets without, with little or no supervision <laughs> being thrust out into this. And not only that, but now you've got this spy, surely. The little kid? The, the cadet. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought you meant me. I was like... <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Gith Roundtree. He is just a little kid. Um, Fine little kid. Like six? Well, no, 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 no. He's like 15. Yeah, around okay. there. He looks young. He looks young. He's human. His hair is a little greasy. Um, his uniform is kind of not in the best shape. Um, I clean his hair with prestidigitation. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow you're, you're uh, it doesn't seem too sure of himself, him. but uh, he's there as 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 a um, a resource for you guys to to you know uh, break in the next level of trainees because you guys are you know the schedule is is grueling and yeah, they know guy. people are going to start dropping out. Once the sh once the shit gets real, they need to have an active police force. So uh, they were already thinking ahead into the body and everybody. Yeah. So he is um, he is there as you know. You're not to to in, put this guy this kid in any serious danger for obvious reasons. Um, he's there to be a runner, maybe to assist in some things. You know that kind of thing. But you can. Um, I am classifying him as a minion. So what, how it works is that anybody at the, if there is a situation, anyone at the, at the start of each round can declare that they're going to take command of him. <laughs> and you essentially, he has a minion for all intents and purposes. You spend one action to direct him and he can spend two actions to do what it is you're telling him to do. I mean, he is trained in athletics. Um, that much you 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 know you would expect at least, uh, and he is given a nightstick, since they are simple weapons. They don't take much uh, training to to use. Oh, oh go you yeah, I'm in. Uh, I'm good for entry. Uh, I'm here to be a cadet. Hey, I guess relax. or something. Yeah, it's okay. You know why you're here? It's all good. Just stay with us. Keep your eyes up. 
you're going to do fine. Okay? You, uh, okay. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Now we continue to like make small talk with him until he relaxes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. He looks a little nervous, but um, get him over it a little bit. Um. All right, so let's go to El Precipice Quarter. What the? On the Narchi map. Um, so your route will begin here. And we'll take you pretty much all around here, down this way, and up and around. Uh, all the while, you will be pretty much making passive, not pa- well, uh, you'll be doing exploration activities, uh, which for the most part, it probably should be search, but I mean, it's really up to you guys how you, how you, how you were uh, going to handle that. Um Which makes sense to me. So yeah, you're out um, in front of of uh, the Edge Watch HQ. Where'd my mouse go? <laughs> there it is. God. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna zoom it in. Okay. All right. So we're gonna. Have you guys starting here and um well i mean you've got a couple directions to go in uh this route will take you across the mystic gardens um as far as you know people and and such um it's early in the day let me uh Push the time. It's probably about it's about eight o'clock now. You go from seven to seven, but you've spent the first hour kind of prepping uh, and stuff like that. We have twelve so, hour shifts. I would suggest that we go this way first, and then this way. And that way, we can pass by the market after it opens. Okay, so we don't have to worry about planning. Like, we're, we're just going to do it abstractly. Um, not put it. I thought about making this a little more like hex crawly, but. Uh, no. mm-hmm. So. Um, okay, so is everyone here searching? Well, yes. there... can I use my that's odd as an exploration? Activity? Well, that's odd is more of a reaction that you experience. It's not an action. It just says when you enter a new yeah. location. Yeah, it's not something that. Okay, so, but if I were searching, then then if I saw something that could trigger that's odd. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's exactly. Well, okay. well yeah, I mean. Pretty much. It's, it, it happens regardless of what type of exploration activity you're doing. Because you're so hyper sensitive that you'll notice this if you're doing something else. Right. Okay. 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 Um, I mean, at some point I'll be pursuing a lead, but right now I don't have any. No, no. Yeah. You've got lots well, of options that are, it, you can always change it up. Um and even when you're pursuing the lead, you're still performing some activity that is pursuing the lead kind of happens in the, in the background. So yeah, searching makes sense. Okay. So, um, if you go to your party sheet, you can double click the, um, the icon there. And uh, go to exploration. Just just um, hit the plus, 
and then you may have to create the act or you may have to browse for the action, but just put in search there and get used to doing that because it'll be handy for me to see what you guys are up to without having to ask you all the time. Uh, something to get into the habit of. There you go. Like that, and then activity, browse. Okay, action. Look at that. Pretty neat. Okay, and then just go ahead and roll me your uh, perception checks. Uh, of course, they're secret. First rolls. First rolls and they're secrets. Oh, God. Natural 20. I like some of these dice. Yeah. I might have to copy some of these. Okay. Uh, right. Okay, so it's a little early in the morning um, at this point, but there are, you know, they could get the sound of the smells of, of baking bread, and so a lot of the uh, folks are setting up the stall, stall, their stalls as the festival takes effect officially tomorrow. Okay, so you still have, like, today should be kind of an easy day for the most part, but there's still a lot of people here. Um, every... So much of 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 the of the precipice quarter has been absolutely reconstructed. Um, some of the the sections like over here and up here have you know some of the older buildings are are still intact, but there are a lot of new businesses that have just been sprung up in the last three years uh, in anticipation for these um, influx of of people that are becoming to the city and even more specifically to this quarter of the city. Uh, so there are still lots of, of folks gathered around, but none of the major things are happening. You know, there's just lots of folks peeking, getting sneak peeks and things like that. Um, there are some folks that are dressed up really nicely. A uh, lot other folks that are kind of in between on uh, this area. And uh, walking through um, the Mystic Gardens, we'll say first. Let me lower this, some of those. That appeared, the Mystic Gardens appears to be filled with truffula trees. Filled with what? Truffula trees. Truffula trees? Come on, from the Lorax cartoon. Oh, <laughs> man. That's not one of my. It's not one of my things. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> there was a Lorax cartoon, isn't that Doctor Seuss? Yeah. Yeah. Before they made that. Oh God. Movie. The video, yeah, the 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 new like uh, animated 3D animated one. Mm -hmm. I was a Tumblr kid when that movie was popular. If that informs you of anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the original cartoon was fantastic. <laughs> I will not break into any of the songs right now. <laughs> so these Mystic Gardens are, are, are amazing uh, sites. Um, this whole area that the gardens were before was a horrible, horrible place. Um, that uh, you may or may not know anything about, actually. But, sorry, to get to the point... Um, there were landscapers and orchard, o orchard owners convened to create this massive park. And like anything else in the world. Um, and you can see some of the early, early arrivals are perusing uh, exotic flower uh, varieties from all over Absalom. And I'm sorry, all over Galarian. Uh, Nidalee's daisies sparkle lilies plants that you would see in, in the Mwangi expanse only um, and then you can off to the off to the, the eastern edge there's this maze that has an ever-changing uh, ever-shifting hedges 
always changing and, and moving around. Uh, and you've been warned about that place. Um, at some, often folks will get lost there and they have to call in uh, the police because uh, people are like hopelessly lost for like hours. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Um, and it's full of like frightening props. It kind of gets a little more scary at night where they add a little of a haunted uh, maze element to it. Uh, it's called the Maze of Terrors. Yeah. It's just, it's just yeah, not a bad... This just it's just a bad rep. Yeah, man. It's just a bad rep top Why to bottom. It well, it's a... You know, people come there for the scariness at night. Yeah. Um, and there's a dour pale-skinned fellow who looks like a vampire uh, who keeps uh, who is the proprietor, essentially. Yeah, looks like a vampire. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he just turns his head at you and as you walk past, and he just slowly turns his head and turns it back. You're not sure if he's a real person or just some kind of mannequin. I'm uh, I'm gonna cast figment real quick and throw a, a bulb of garlic at him. <laughs> Screams roll for initiative. Oh no! This is a level ten Bangs. encounter you've just triggered. Bangs out. <laughs> we don't know him. <laughs> Somebody jumps out from behind a tree with like a chainsaw with no chain on it. I'm, 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 I'm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, coming out of that, coming out of that foresty area, the next area you, you, you come upon will be uh, this incredible um, tower right here, Belgian's Tower. Uh, this thing is awe-inspiring. Um, as you're approaching, you can see all the, the, the different tents that are set up around it. Um, the tower is kind of a well-known landmark, uh, as it was technically, possibly, uh, the site of the original, uh, one of the three towers of Beldrin's uh, design, who was a great wizard that came uh, to Absalom in the early years and set up shop there and ended up drawing in a lot of influential people that wanted to kind of live near him and uh, lots of, uh, you know, the Precipice Quarter was once a beautiful uh, place. Um, So this tower is, is a spire. It goes up very high. And uh, it's a been it's recreated, um, supposedly exactly like the previous uh, tower. But the exterior is also magnificent, as it has um, this basin in front of it that is acres long. Every all of these things are just so over the top that you're seeing. Um, and this basin stretches all the way to the tower's entrance. The footpaths are onyx. The benches are, are pure granite, inviting visitors to, uh, you know, hang out and play in the water, or just meet under the the, sh- the, the shadow of the tower. Um, there are exhibit halls on either side. Uh, under the tents that um, sounds like there's a uh, auctions maybe preparing to happen there uh, lots of folks uh, hanging out there um, but yeah not much going on at this time of day and then you're kind of heading down uh, to this the southern end here and um, that's where you see the the coral beach which is right here which is kind of the only beach in absalom there is no beach anything that is on the shore is either unusable because in the puddles or it's it's dock space docks 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 more docks more docks more docks like 
Absalom is all about shipping. And so this is an unusual thing to see in Absalom. And they kind of shaved down uh, the, the beach front. Um, and you can see lots of folks already down there at, at the beach um, with tent with little umbrellas or playing in the water. Um, and there's even like little mini sailboats out there. Uh, let's see here. What else is it? what else does it say? Here's, yes, um, they actually brought in thousands and thousands of tons of sand mm -hmm. to fill this beach. Uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of a lot of money was spent <laughs> yeah. on this because yeah. there was a lot of pressure on Absalom to do this because they didn't do it last hundred years because of the Aradin's disappearance. Question. Uh huh. Because this is the the precipice quarter. At some point, there has to be some big cliff. I'm assuming it used to be like yeah. along the water where mm -hmm. the, the the cliff is starts fell, kind right? of like right uh, about here. Uh, oh, okay, so that is a cliff. Yeah. All right. And then how, it, how steep is it? Um, it is about okay. like a hundred foot drop. Okay. Yeah. So from it's pretty the severe. ground part down to the beach. You know what? Actually, this is perfect. Since as you walk past the Beldrin's Bluff, you can see some of the uh, images of the Great Earthquake, right? Yeah. Because it's lots of uh, stuff there. Um, and thought I had it. Where'd it go? That's really weird. All right. All right. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I had a picture of the bluff and I know I saved it. That's fucking weird. All right. I'll find it later, but yeah, it's a, it's a severe drop. Um, so there must be some like stairs or something. Uh, for the beach. Yeah. No, they shaved. They shaved it all down. Oh, okay. So this is just a. a ramp yeah, it's a, it's a it's a much more a gradient slope. But well, yeah, there would be okay. stairs though. You're right. Yeah, there'd be stairs yeah. going down to the beach. Um, cool. yes, so, uh, but there is, um, not only all this, but the, uh, there's an entire underwater castle made of stony, very colored coral, which you can see offshore, like right here. Um, and you can see little boats kind of sailing around it um, and such. What happened? Was... It's being dumb. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah. So there's people out there sailing and swimming uh, to, in this castle, and the water goes pretty deep. So it must be very skilled divers, or there's some sort of tourism thing happening where they can give people water breathing. Um, and uh, so, yeah, you're patrolling I around. Aster, mm -hmm. I see Aster's Pier. Isn't that, like, yes. one of the, like, evil organizations no like Aspis consortium they are they're they're cap they're they're, they're super capitalists they're a trade so, yeah, organization so oh, yeah you've answered my question with the yeah. terms i think yeah. i think their public reputation's okay mm -hmm. right i don't think well i don't think it's very well known that they're kind of sh like that shady they they got some like bad rep in the last few years uh where they outright tried to um, take out the Pathfinder Society in Absalom. It was it was a very public, Oopsie. very public thing. Uh, of course, the you know the person responsible for that was disavowed by the consortium, and they had said they had nothing to do with that. Yeah, um, and you can see some some folks uh, hurrying about to and fro uh, in this area here. Like there's like a 
what looks to be a merchant, and he's followed by uh, three servants. One of them has a stack of papers. The other one is pulling the papers from that stack, and the third one is is kind of like bent over while they're walking. And he's got the, the paper on his back, like the merchant, the other servant puts the paper on the guy's back while the merchant just signs it. And then the guy takes the paper and does another thing. And they're just walking along uh, to who knows where. Uh, off in the distance, actually, you can see a few folks pointing off in the distance, um, farther out into shore. Um, way, way out, like maybe over by Pilot Island, which is kind of one of the entrances to the the harbor. And uh, you can see um, a ship is being uh, scuttled and added to the uh, the graveyard. Uh, and, and lots of folks are just kind of pointing and watching and, and looking. Um, ooh, you have to scroll up here. Oh, there you are. Okay. Uh, the music is so very uncomfortable. Can't <laughs> Kanthi, 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 Kanthi. You're just kind of looking around, and you see uh, in a, in an alleyway there's a cat, and it kind of locks eyes with you for like way too long, and it goes <laughs> and disappears into the alleyway. You found the big bad. She was just about to like kneel down to me. <laughs> oh. And um Savara you can hear the sounds of um fight at, arguing Sh- high shrieked shrill sounding arguing. She stops and kind of puts her hand out and says, "Can you hear that?" Hmm? Listen. I listen. <laughs> can they hear it when I put something out? Someone is someone is arguing. Uh, yes. Yeah, so you uh, take a moment to to focus in on what 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 she's hearing, and then you can all kind of hear it. The sounds. It sounds like a like two screechy like encounter creatures. <laughs> Uh, and then just stopping and looking, uh, it doesn't take long for you to, to see the plume of of black smoke that is coming from um, one of the many stalls that are lining the um, the bluff uh, walkway, like just over here. Um, you know, there's lots of little little mini stalls and things like that, and you can see a, a small plume of black smoke uh, coming up from. Ah. Let's go check it out. Indeed. Right? I mean, you know, it sure beats it's... staring at crowds more. What is our job? Yeah. To keep the peace. Maybe the cats will come back. One second. <laughs> Fante. She's like, looking as if there's any money on her, like, buy a small piece of fish. So, oh, as boy. you, um... As you uh, make your way closer to... Uh, the sound and the smoke. Um, you can hear uh, the profanities. You may not speak the language. Actually, let me see. Oh, where are you guys? You guys are up here. Okay, let's move you down here. Um, so, uh, what are the languages? First page oh wow, nobody speaks it. Okay, so you hear just <laughs> and you finally see it and it's a pair of goblins that are completely um, are basically shouting at each other from across the uh, one um, stall to the other. 
looks like they're both running their own separate stalls. And as you stop and watch for a moment, you can see one of the goblins has um, a pot, a clay pot. And with a little bit of fire coming out of the pot, and he just... And he throws it and explodes as it hits the other stall um, in this fiery conflagration. Uh, all right. And now people are like, oh, oh my, oh my goodness. Who let yeah. goblins in here? What filth? Don't be racist. I'm going to shift my shield to my arm and say, all right, everybody, back up. You two. What's going on? I'm like, I'll approach. Like, I'll, 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 yeah. You know, I don't know if it's. This is kind of what if you're, I, uh seeing here. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, hey, you two, Goblin bring it up. Flip -flops. Is the is this stall actively on fire? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna grab okay. one and pull him off. Wait, 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 I think we should deal with the thing that's on fire first. But if they make it worse. If they make it worse, I'll stop them. If this spreads to other stuff. And this thing, like, worse. went. Like, when he threw that um, oil, it, like, went over someone else's stall to crash into theirs. Like, they're, they're just. Does the fire look, like, out of control and going to spread badly? Um, or is it more of a. So. Uh, well, give me a perception check, why don't you? Okay. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Really pulling your dice with my dice on forge. Um. So, both of you guys take a moment to to look and see, um, and um. You spot that there, that the one of the there is a large wooden barrel um, that is marked with an oil drop symbol, as it's any red. vehicle vendor would have to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what was that? Is it a is red, red barrel? Yes, yes, yes red, barrel, red barrel for sure. Uh, yeah, it is marked with an oil drop symbol. Um, and it looks like you know it's 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 burning right now, and these goblins are it's do not burning. give a fuck. Yeah, and when that happens, yeah. the other goblin charges out of the stall and like grapples the other one, and then they're just brawling right now uh, in the middle of this market kind of area. Uh, people are just backing away, but there's a lot of other people that are just kind of like um, have their phones out and they're just. Getting real like, close. Humpy is like giving somebody money. Yeah. They're, so they're watching. Right. You can see some people are betting. Okay. Well, we definitely um, but, need to deal with the fire. I mean, these people are dangerously close to the barrel also. They don't see it. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'm going to yell at people to clear like, hey, yeah. back up. Fire. Dangerous. Move. You know fire dangerous, okay. right? Get so, up. Go, go. We're going to... We're not necessarily... Avengers Assemble. Um, not necessarily in combat, but I'm just going to roll. have everybody roll for initiative. initiative. Just to just so we have a clear line of, of what everyone is doing. Yeah, that's also what I was going to do. You get surfers. Oh, no. Natural one. Yeah, Conte is betting on the blue one. <laughs> Dude, you can't ever roll as bad as I did on Sunday night. Or, or, Statistically ones? or natural ones during my turn. It was all during my turn. It was bullshit. You're yeah. one in a million, sir. Well, nah. one twenty to the fourth power, which is yeah. like a hundred thousand. But you know, yeah. who's counting? All right. So, um, why don't we just yeah? Let's just start. Okay. So, first combat, no enemies. Love it. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. So, out of curiosity. 
were we trained in fire uh, fire brigade? Br well, that really all matters fire. on. That all depends on your survival. Who's trained in survival? If you train survival, then you would have been trained in some sort of fire uh, suppression kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah. So, but we weren't like told where the sand buckets were or anything like that, or like nothing like that. No. Way down on the beach. Well, in that case, I'm going to try crowd control. Um, so, what do I need to do to get people to run away? Is that like an intimidation check or diplomacy check? You tell me. One of those. Um. Well, I'd like to use uh, Intimidation, I think. Because I think that would be more fun. And probably get more activity. So I think what I'd like to do, if you'll let me, is do a Figment spell with, like, a, a fire elemental over my head, basically yelling, mm. get away, it's gonna <laughs> explode. I'm gonna blow! <laughs> yeah, yeah, essentially something like that. Okay, so go ahead and, and uh, describe to me what happens, or when you cast your, your spell. So you're casting a Figment spell. Can you link it, just so I can take a look at what it is? Yeah, so it's one of the new remaster spells. Which oh, basically okay, I have to refresh this. For ghost sound and um, sort of like um, Minor Illusion from D&D. &D. Right. So it does both. Okay. In this particular case, I'm doing um, the That's... vision of it and then kind of yelling on my own. Um, and it's really just kind of to create a flash, right, of like a giant... Now, it says you do a sound or a vision, so you have to do one right. of them. Yeah, so I'm doing I'm doing the the vision and then just yelling alongside of it. Okay. Um. So then, give me an intimidate check. Yeah, basically trying to get people. Yeah, this thing could be mind. like, go away. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> I hate it when you're fighting. What are you trying to do? In, uh, what's the intimidate action called? Just in, just roll an intimidate check. Intimidation. You're not you're not demoralizing. You're not doing anything. Well, so I'm a polymath. I'm a polymath bard. So I roll performance for. Um. Intim uh, intimidation to demoralize. So I don't know if that count. If this counts as demoralizing. I no, guess. you're not demoralized. Okay. It does seem like a performance, though. Yeah, you can still do performance. I'll let you. That's fine. Because you're impersonating. Yeah, I think it's more performance related anyway. Oh. I'm gonna re-roll that. Oh shit. Oh my god. You rolling it private? Did I roll it private? Yeah. You did, yeah. Uh, we'll okay. reveal it. Okay, so uh, you went from a 9 to a 15. 15, okay. okay. 15 is pretty good. Um, it gets, you know, we'll say that there are... Um, this many people. Eight people. Okay, so with the 15... I'll say that you got rid of three people that are in danger. Okay. Savara. Oh, hi. Um, I think Savara is looking at this like as a puzzle, basically. She's seeing like the location of the barrel and what is next to it and like like where if the, when this thing explodes where it's gonna travel mm -hmm. you know and, um and and so she you know she, she's also trying to um away if you stand there it would hit you um she's all she's also trying to get people away but um 
can I roll crafting for that? Crafting for what, <laughs> for, though? For seeing, like, the path that the fire would that, take. Do like. you have survival as a skill? No, I don't. Oh. Well, I mean, it's untrained. I see. Um, no, I was just thinking, like, it was more of a, like, these are how the structures are, like, mm -hmm. you know, touching, and this is this is what the fire would do when it caught on fire. Uh, yeah, I think crafting would be okay. Okay. Yeah. Be a little higher of a DC, it's kind of a stretch, so, but... It's, it's, it's related. Okay. Um, you also all should keep in mind that, you know, this thing exploding would not be a good thing. Right. Right, which is why they're tr she's trying to get people away from Right, her. yes. Getting people away is, I, is, I wonder, is also good. I wonder if anybody has, like, survival to deal with that. That's one of the few skills I don't have trained. Um, yeah. Okay, well, I'll roll crafting and see how it goes. Okay. Not well. Hmm. <laughs> you have to your points. Yeah. It's true, I do. You, okay, you do know this much about the barrel. Um, if it's crafting related. Uh, you know, if someone were to jostle the barrel it could rupture and explode very easily. Um, um, it's going to require, uh, you know, a smothering of the flames, essentially. All right. And that is um, where the survival comes into play. So, so yeah, so she, she calls out something to that effect. Yeah, like, um, um, be careful if you, if you approach it, don't jostle it. We might be able to smother the, the the barrel so that the explosion doesn't travel. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how All right. That was. What is Yelena going to do about this? All right. So there's still people congregating around the barrel. Yeah. Right? Or like mm -hmm. they're, they're close, dangerously close. I'll look to Conti. Conti, can you handle those two? I'll gesture to the goblins. Uh, and then her with the natural one finally looks up. <laughs> and you handle. Get them off of each other. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, of course, yes. Thank you. And then I'm going to work on clearing out the rest of the people. I'm going to work on, that's, my action essentially for this turn is going to be to work on clearing out the rest of the people, but I'm going to ask Savara if she has, do you have any plans on how to do this mothering, or is it just like a theoretical? Okay, well then I'm going to be like yelling at people, hey, clear out, get out of here, shoo, 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 you have better things to do. Um... So yeah, I'm gonna try to intimidate, I guess. Right? Is that sure. kind of the dig here? Yeah, all right. Hell yeah. There you go. What do you want? Mm, okay. All right. Um, I'd say that there's probably about three, two people left, maybe at this point now. After you shoo those that group away, they're like, oh. <laughs> fine. <laughs> All right, right. Kanti. Uh, and now she finally like looks up, sees the like puts her money away. Okay, we're she cracks her knuckles. We're ending this. That. You, blue one. And she goes to grab a woman, pull him off the other one. Okay, so she's going after uh, the bandana. Whatever. Yep. Okay. Athletics. You're going to try to, um, yeah, you're going to try to pull them off? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. Yep. Oh. Yeah. That would not, yeah. that would not that would beat be his crappy. fortitude, DC. You have two? You have two have hero two. points. I mean, you can still try it again with a minus five. I'll re roll. I want her to be a hero. <laughs> uh, 16. 16. Okay. okay. All right. 16, you uh, yank him off. It's the reposition action now. Basically, you can move a creature five feet in my arms, like a toddler. with a successful athletics check. Uh huh. And then he uh, turns around and is like, ah! And he tries to bite you. He's in a frenzy, this guy. What the? She's like holds him out like a baby. 
Uh... AC is 16. Okay. <laughs> Fritz, you. Razor sharp teeth. And this trend is going to continue. Dig into your fucking forearm. Please just do uh, 40 hit points and just kill her in my suffering. Now, I have to. Oh my god. Okay. He doesn't. That's funny because he doesn't have a. What's his. Uh... It's funny. It's so funny. Okay. It's so so funny. it's going to do that much damage. Oh my god. Six points total. Six. Oh, oh gods. Ah, do you let go of them? Uh I'm gonna try to like Oh I feel like I shouldn't strangle him. I'm gonna try to like like force him against my chest so that way he like can't squirm and bite me again. Okay. Uh so you wanna grapple him? Yeah, yes. Okay. Go ahead. This is minus five. <laughs> okay. Uh, minus five. Add. Roll. Oh, thank you. Nice. All right. That's, That's a success. Good. You have grappled him now. Okay. It stops. Stop. And you have one action left. Uh, and I'm going to tell our cadet to... I guess we're to grapple the other one. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Well, yeah, I didn't take Ooh. command of him, so I didn't know who you know, was. My third action is commanding. Well, you have to declare at the start of the turn who's going to control him. Uh... Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to get it, our cadet involved a... with goblins. If this yeah. is a if this is a group decision, I'd really rather not get the. <laughs> <It's good. now. laughs> okay. Uh, well, the other one. The other one's going to go now, and he's like, yeah, 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 you hold him, you hold him. And he picks up another clay Fuck. thing Ooh. and chucks it right at him, thinking that you are obviously on his on his side now. So he is going to chuck a, um, a bomb I'm about a, I'm gonna at, start at the other guy, who is now flat-footed. Okay, that's going to hit. Uh, gonna splash too on you. Not a crit though, um, but yes, you will take the splash damage, uh, which is one fire damage. Uh, and the other guy's like, "Ah, oh, oh, birds! It burns me! I mean, you don't like this kind of birdsies." Um, and then he reaches over, grabs another one. And is gonna throw it, but that's he's out of actions. <laughs> Round two. All right, Wendell. Well, it's my turn, and now it's not. Oh, what happened? What did I miss? You were delaying. Oh, no, the combat finally started. No, the combat finally started. Oh, started oh, through oh, all my turns, yeah. and it yelled at me. Um, all right. Okay. You said there's three more people. Is is there like something I could do? Like there, what is the fire? The fire is part of the stall. Can I like knock it away from the barrel or something? The barrel is on fire. We need to find a way to smother. The barrel's it out. already on fire. Yes, the, the barrel, barrel is, is on fire. Actively on fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need to we need uh, to put yeah. it out. I mean, you're gonna have to start so, doing untrained checks, basically. So yeah, so just like point of order. I didn't realize we were doing three action around things. I, oh. I thought it was one action per. Okay. So Randy and I each only got one action last turn. Last, last yeah, turn. I was kind of doing it narratively, but then when um, Kathy, Kathy jumped in that's there true. True. and then did an attack action, then that changed the, that changed yeah. the that's flow true. of things. Yeah. I mean, somebody also only did two actions. It's not like he did something bad, but it's no, just... No, no, no. I was just going to petition to have done a perception check last round to, like, look and see if there was something that we could throw on the fire or something to use to smother it. Mm -hmm. um, there are tarps, you know, um, dirty rags, things like I'm that are throwing, around. I'm not throwing dirty oily rags, rags on yeah. the fire. One of the stalls is um, the one that has the burning oil 
uh, that's on fire. That one is uh, like a, an everything fried stall. And the other one uh, <laughs> is um, goblin cuisine. So there's the red barrel that's on fire. Is there also a blue barrel that has water? <laughs> With the water do barrel? Not, do not, do not use water on an oil fire. That's true, that's true. That's oh, true. yeah. Please. It's, it's, not an, it's not an oil fire yet, technically. That's right. It's not that's an right. oil fire just yet. Not yet. Okay, but like... Alright, um, so Savara like yelled and pointed at whatever you could use to smell those. Are there, are, are there any oh, like... Sorry like potted plants around or anything like that Giant. potted plants i mean you're sure there's the shrubbery uh, and about around it about shrubbery. i was thinking more like you know like a mum's pot you know like that sort of thing like where i could kind of use that to like throw on the fire to like let's do a, a uh, let's do a, a fate roll here uh if i roll a 10 or higher then there is something within range. Otherwise, you'll have to run a little further out. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to grab the the pot of dirt or something and basically try to upend it on the fire, trying to smother the fire. Okay. So what is that? Survival? Is that athletics? Um, Survival. Rolling these guys in. Okay. Really, <clears throat> I really love your background. Okay. It's very distracting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. Well, I'll, I'll You're beating a, 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 one of those dudes up. That's pretty funny. They're called Sky Dancers. Wacky inflatable. I thought, they, I thought they were funny. I thought it was a funny background because, you know. Beating on the thing, yeah. <laughs> the goblins flaying at each other. Okay. Uh, so. Okay, so that is a, that is not a success, unfortunately, but you can still try it. It's a, well, it's a two action ability to try to smother the flame. So you're um, done. All right. You're basically I'm going to use my last hero point then to try to oh. reroll that. Okay. Heroes putting up fires. Hey, okay, it's that is good. Hurt. You've made progress to put the fire out. Okay. That is good. Cool. Okay, you're starting to ch -ch 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 put the, the dirt and stuff on there. It seems to be working. Uh, um, just, uh, I guess I'll pass the turn. All right, Savara. All right, is there Sorry, another planter full of dirt? <laughs> Well, there was tarps. You saw tarps. Oh yeah, that's tarps. Like that. Yeah, yeah. So she, yeah, so she runs over, and um, and and yeah, the the, the stalls are closely packed together too. Like there's other yes. merchants' stuff that, um, you know, they're concerned about. Yeah, yeah. So she runs over and grabs the tarp that okay. you mentioned, and um, hey, that's my tarp. What are you doing with that tarp? Trying to keep you from losing all of all of your goods. I keep I keep trying to do kvichy and my tongue's like <laughs> wanna do kvichy and then that's not the right voice. And he's like, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh what what skill was that? Sorry. Survival. Okay. Be safe, sir. I'm guessing a 12 is not going to cut it, huh? Um, no. No. Let's, oh, what the fuck? Let's re-roll it. <laughs> I can figure out what it is. That's the block. Work. Yeah, thanks. Nope. Ooh, you not set yourself on fire. No. Yeah, probably. Okay. Well, you can also um, aid each other. Oh, that's right. Because it looks that's like it story, only huh? needs to have, you know, maybe one good success on it. Um, okay. But there is All a right, timer cool. on this. I will well, let you know. I will, <laughs> I will um, aid Yelena in, for my final action, aid Yelena in. Uh, or I'm you probably going to go help Kavichi. Uh, I'm probably going to go help Conti. Like, yeah, well. She's currently getting double teamed by goblins who are actively throwing more pots of fire. That's like, boring. I will not. All right, well, well then, it probably that. actually, since Wendelin's up there, like, 
in the fray with the fire, it would probably make more sense for Savara to help to aid one board. So I'll do that. And hopefully it's not too late. Okay. That is okay. good. All right, Elena. All right. Yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to, to, uh, I'd like to knock out the goblin who's throwing fire pots. Okay. Um, so you'll spend an action the, to move to, to, into, uh, yeah, spend an action to move over there. Um, I'd like to exploit vulnerability on him. Oh, 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 if it works, I have a description. If it doesn't work, I also have like, a description. Get out of the so way! We... Get out of the way! It's telling you as you're uh, getting close to I have to, to him. roll exploit vulnerability. I do not have a target, so I'm just going to okay. roll it Okay, give him a target. He's right there. Oh, he's right there. Never mind. Yeah. Ha -ha! Hooray! I can press the button. Uh, yeah, there it goes, baby. Well, we're Ooh, gonna that. that's a failure. He is... Whoop! No. Eh. Still a failure. Okay. All right. He's a that's goblin. Okay. I can exploit a personal antithesis instead. Right. So that's still fine. I'll move myself next to him. Um, and so the description for this is literally like, hey, and I will spin manacles around my fingers like, guess what? And then I'm going to smack him in the face with my shield. <laughs> okay. And just like that, we're those gods. Blow! <laughs> okay. 21. That's a hit. Stop resisting. God. Oof. Okay. Um, Plus personal antithesis, which I don't think. Let's talk about that. What What does that add to the damage when you do that? When you make it just your... gives him weakness uh, one plus my level. Wait, hold on. Let me double check that. I'm just talking off my ass right now. <laughs> Mortal personal antithesis two plus half my level. Okay. Um, that that creature and only that creature gains a weakness against my unarmed and weapon strikes equal to two plus half my level. Why didn't it, um, it add the damage to the She, like, to rubbed the soap on her shield. Well, I don't, oh, he's going like, to... He has oh a weakness. God, clean. He has a weakness. Yeah, so let's he see has what, weakness. It's okay. not my bonus damage. We won't get to that see that because you've... You've knocked him out. <laughs> he falls on the ground, and I point to the other ones. You! It's not actually a roll to intimidate. Stop! Zavada! How are we doing? And that's my turn. Yeah, he's a, he goes out, uh, but he does yeah. drop the flaming clay ball. Help us put out this fire. Uh, so it does it, it does rupture uh, and burn him. Uh, so he is now on fire as well. Cool. <laughs> both of them are on fire right now, <laughs> and uh, you take one point of fire damage as well. Ow! You let him. Okay. Shit, is there a thing? Just, just take I'll the just, point yeah, off. Yeah, I'll just reduce my HP. Yeah, it did apply the extra damage, though. It's pretty Good. funny. It, 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 according to massive damage rules, you immediately killed him. Oh, no! Oh, no! Whoa! I really Six didn't hit need points. to do the mortal weakness. Whoa! Did you do that non-lethal, or...? Yeah, yeah. Luckily. Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, yeah everything yeah, is non-lethal. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Okay. Uh, so he goes oh, down, no, no, no. Pow, and, the other, and this goblin's like, ah, <laughs> yes, 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 and then he's still gonna, well, he's still fighting and resisting Conti. Oh yeah. Uh, so Conti. Uh, she's gonna drop him. Uh, and he goes, okay. Stop resisting. <laughs> Wait, can't you manacle somebody you have grappled? Yes. Yes. You have him grappled. Just cuff him. I mean, sure, if you want to go. When you grapple mentality, somebody, they mentality. stay grappled until the end of your next um, turn. Oh, can I call for our little friend to put cuffs on him while I'm holding him? I want to maintain But you can do it. You have manacles. Yeah, but I want him to do something. <laughs> Why? He's 15. <laughs> He's just like, uh, uh, Okay, uh. I, I'll put grapples on the goblin. We need to roll to maintain the grapple. I I just, I really don't want a child involved in all of this. There's like fire going out, the barrel could explode. Um, we don't need him there. 
So you're gonna use your um, my shitty your manacles, uh, right? Sorry, okay. Not shitty, uh, poor manacles. I'm pretty sure the item description is shitty manacles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna manacle his arms. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me an athletics check. Because he is resisted. Okay. Uh, do I get a bonus because I'm grappling it? Or... No. Okay. Yeah. If you had him restrained with a critical success and a grapple, mm -hmm. then that would be... A, that would, You could just cuff him. But, 24. Uh, that, that does it. Yeah, you wrestle his arms back. Your training kicks in. He probably screams out as she's like... <laughs> what are you doing to me? Stop! And then he's... Oh! Okay, uh, so you grab the thing. You have one action left, technically. Uh, then she's gonna put her knee on him. Oh my oh god. god. Oh my god. That's so tough. Like, like, like Man, on this back, didn't you know, take long. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that is so tough. Oh like, no. I mean, I mean, oh, it's, it's like, she's no. preventing him from running away, not like uh, on his throat, just like a don't go anywhere, you know? Uh -huh. Okay. Immobilizing him, not right. Okay. Not right. Trying to right. So you may so, the grapple. So you're gonna, you're gonna try and, and to, are you trying to? Tr yeah. Do another. Do another check to maintain the grapple. Exactly. Okay. Or yeah, trip him. <laughs> you could trip him, but then you wouldn't. He wouldn't be grappled anymore well, at the end of the turn. Uh, that is. That should have a minus ten on it. So minus five, rather. Oh. So, so that's a super that fail. Grapple. Yeah. Okay. So. But he's still manacled at least. Mm -hmm. uh, seven, that's not a critical fail, so you're all right. Get in the habit of using the um, basic action macros basic action. when you can. Use the grapple things on there because it has all of the, the cool little um, critical effects, critical fails, those kind of things. Uh, okay, so he is still grappled. You have to show me later what you mean, but yeah. Okay, well type it in the compendium search box. Basic. Hey, well, let me drag it on my search for anything. What? Yeah, but we worry about later. You don't have the. You have a different one then. Hold on. Maybe I can dig it up. Yeah, there it is. All right. I will there. drag it into the chat bar. That this one you should be able to drag onto your chat bar. Okay, so he's going to spend in action to try and grapple uh, to escape. Oh, that one. Oh no, he's no longer grappled. Never mind. So he's yeah, no longer grappled. Uh... Damn it! I think he like kicks her, and she like stumbles back as he falls back to the ground. But his arms are still pinned behind him. Okay, actually, he um, is still on fire, so he's kind of screaming. And uh, he starts uh, rolling on the ground. Yeah. To try and put himself out. Um, would you like to? Did anybody have an attack of opportunity? <laughs> yeah, might as well. I do have an attack of opportunity oh on God. the one that's on the ground unconscious right now. Um, yeah. So, yeah, he gets on the ground. So it's rolling on the ground. Um, we'll say that it gives him a free flat check. Oh, Anyways, like a yeah. true goblin. He's out. All right. No longer on fire. <laughs> Uh, and he is like, me, me, me give up, me give up, me give up, me give up. Good. Good goodness. But you still have the issue with the barrel. So yeah, yeah. what is next? Uh, he is no longer a threat, but we are technically still in initiative. So uh, bringing it back to Wendelin. You're out of pot. You're out of plants. You have guidance. <laughs> Uh, well, you have a an aid queued up from Savar. Yes, Savar is standing by to aid you. Um, is there any way I could use thievery? No, probably not. Mm -hmm. Um, you don't have to disarming will... anything. Or... I will. The tarp is still there. I'll just mm -hmm. like help um, Savara yeah. like smother it more. Okay. Let's see that. Let's see that check. Yeah, do you want my aid first? Yes, you should aid first. Okay, 
that's in the still survival. Yeah, we're going to go with the DC 15. We're going with the remaster rules for that. Some of the remaster rules are just necessary, I feel. Ooh. Why make it? Okay, well. You know, no, you know what? I'm going to make it the DC of the effect. Okay. That, that seems more reasonable. So that is a success. So you get a plus one. That brings me up to a plus two. Woo! Woo! Woo. Maybe you should be big doing money. it the other way around. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, money no whammies, big money no whammies. All right, that's a fail. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can ready your action now to help her. Yeah, there you go. I, will, I will do that. Yeah. Yeah, back okay. up, baby. So moving right, on to so, Savara. Yeah, we're still just trying to pull yeah, out all the flames, so. Uh, all right, roll the aid. Then, yeah. Maybe kick some more dirt over. Ooh. Oh, no. Okay, well. You don't have the plus fail? one anymore. Oh, never mind. That's wow. a plus one. Uh, yes. That is a critical fail. Minus one? That so you have a minus one. Yeah. When you right. aid, you get a minus one if you crit fail. Should I argue for crafting again? <laughs> nope. This is going to have to be... Uh, All right. All right. Crafting just lets you... You know, get the necessary materials to yeah, yeah, yeah. to get a better chance. Okay, so, so the DC um, is actually much higher, but I'm giving you some stuff so for having the right is. tools. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh boy! All right. Do it. We're about to get blown up. Yelena. Okay, so the barrel's still on fire, and the goblin's still on fire, eh? No, goblin is no longer on fire. One of the goblins is. Oh, on fire. this guy is. Yes, he's unconscious and on fire. Wait, oh, is he on fire? God. Did it directly hit him and he's on fire, mm -hmm. or did it just feel splash to him? You know. Okay. No, no, no. That's true. It didn't directly hit him, so he just he just took the fire. He didn't. He's not burning. Okay, I'm gonna go and try to help out with the tarp as well. Uh, I'm just gonna roll a survival check. It's what I got. Okay. Um, literally naked because I have no points in survival. So here goes, baby. Using Punch's Goblin to smother the fire. I, <laughs> like, I checked my inventory sheet. Like, I really do not have a single thing Do none I could of us use. have survival? That's gonna no, be it's, it's, well, it's, it's, it's a... a lot of scale, you, you know, sometimes you look at the scale and, and you take it at face value. Yeah. And you're like, survival? I don't need that. But, you know, yeah. there's little nuances. Same thing with thievery. That's why I mentioned thievery is useful because it's it has other applications besides... Stuff to you to break it the law make with. Sense for to have so Yelena comes in there, just kind of fire is weak to your to your abilities. The weakness is triggered. <laughs> I wave my medicals at the fire, and then just one swift motion puts the fire out. Oh, thank God. Ooh. Woo! Yay! Some people are clapping in the yeah. with the fringes. Well done! What a well. show! People are like, was that a show? Was that a planned event? Wow, this is so spectacular! I th <laughs> people Dynamite massively lit people. Whoever, uniforms. whoever, whoever said that, I want to stare at them and <laughs> try to intimidate them. <laughs> the blood looks so real on that one. How did they put the, <laughs> the goblin on fire like that? I'm gonna, go over to the, I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go over to the one who's talking. I'm gonna pull out a spiral notebook and be like, "Oh, you're here as a witness. I'm gonna need some information from you." What me? The witness? Oh my goodness! Audience participation as well. This is absolutely fantastic. Oh my goodness! Yes, sir. I am the Count Montebank from Australia. <laughs> I mean, he just, just goes into exists. this strange diatribe pretending to be all into it. Obviously a terrible actor. Uh, Ooh, all right. Do we have protocol for when we when we have, like, ruffians, like, essentially, like, making a mess? I.e., did these people break a law? Well, here's we the thing. Yeah. It? Um, if, if the person does not present a clear and present danger, then you can just give them a citation basically if the person is obviously a threat to public yeah, safety or uh whatever 
um, then you can call in for the the paddy wagon. Got it. I uh, so I'm I, refer, gonna... I refer you to this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I, I guess I'm gonna question them. Okay. That's something I could do, just like hey, try to get the like, yeah. I'll, I'll wake the unconscious one. I was like, okay, what happened? What's going on? Okay, who are, are you, you talking to? The unconscious one or? Um... No, I'm gonna. Can I shake the unconscious one awake or? Yeah. <laughs> shake. Okay, I'll awake. have them both. Good lord. Yeah, I'll have them both there. Just like okay. both there's like what happened one at a time. You first. The and I'll point to the one that was being attacked. Well, they were kind of attacking each other. Sure. Okay, I'll point to the one on the left. <laughs> the blue one or the or the gray one. The blue one. I'll okay. point to the blue one first. All right. So that's Grunka. Hi, Grunka. Grunka. Hello, Grunka. I will say yes. They were attacking each other, but one what of them was I using have? fire bombs. So, Not right. Fire but, bombs? Uh, yeah, I'll ask. I'll ask them like, what's going on? What is the disagreement? Okay. Uh, stupid face. Points over at the. Oh, that's right. That's Pelmo, the the one the the one that that you knocked unconscious. Uh, Grunka is the blue skinned one. Uh, stupid face. Mm -hmm. Set up shop. Too close to me. No, no. The other one's like, you set up shop close to me, and they're just shouting back and forth. Uh, very difficult right. to get a straight answer out of these guys, but yeah. Um, I'm just sorry. Yell really loud to try to interrupt them. Hey. So many goblins together can't have people no want. So many goblin food sticks to each other. Navarra steps up and says, well, Surely all of your spaces are assigned. Did you check the booth number? This is where you're supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, me Scott, me Scott. And um, you can see that you know, they have like a little lot number and stuff, and it, it lines up with, with where they're supposed to be. Um, if you're unhappy with your with your assigned space, then you just probably need to file some paperwork or, or speak to the appropriate official. And yeah, no paperwork! We've, we've paid money already! With no told that we're going to be hunting goblin here! They're kind of upset about the situation, but uh, in the background, you just see Conti like mumbling under her breath as she's wrapping a bandage oh, around. Oh, her oh right. I, arm. I, I, understand. <laughs> I, I understand where you're both coming from. Competition from things that are too similar can be distracting. Here's what I would propose do not attack each other again, and we will see what we can do to get you further apart. If you attack each other again, I am going to put lead weights on your feet and throw you in the harbor. Is that clear? No. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be an intimidation check. Clearly. I was going for diplomacy, to be honest. Whoa! Well, that, oh, you just said you. That's not the. That's that's aggressive diplomacy. That's that's <laughs> intimidation. <laughs> you said I'm yeah. gonna drown you. Follow the law. No, I'm going to only kill if you. they didn't listen. <laughs> yeah, that's that's diplomacy. I mean, that's that's a. Uh... Yeah, Savara is looking at Wendell and like. Yeah. Wait, what? Okay, so there's your intimidation. Okay. Um, he's like... Both of you. Mm. And they say, okay. Okay. We just work it out. We just work it out. And everyone's like... Is that I it? Is it over? Citations. Is it over? Is it, is it, when's the next show? I'll I'll write them both citations. I'll elevate, like I'll I'll write a slightly <laughs> higher fine for the person throwing alchemist fire in a crowded market. Um, yeah, one was like a one assaulted an officer. The other one is um, yeah. throwing fire. It's kind of a tough situation here. Um, yeah. But yeah, 
Yeah. Um, you know. The office is a big girl. She can handle it. And um, um, get. Uh, can I roll legal lore to see if we need to take them in? <laughs> So, sure. I think, I think we established. I think we established that they're not a threat actively to public safety. So we just write them citations and move on, right? Correct. Yeah. I mean, if you want to bust chops, you could. You could take them in, into thing, but, you know, they don't want. Well, yeah. I mean, whatever is in line with the instructions. Yeah. Right? yeah. 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 You have right. some. I some think the captain leeway. would be more. Right. If the yeah. situation generally. You know, if the situation is resolved and, and is peaceful and there's no danger to, to public safety, it's okay. Um, and Gith is watching as uh, Conti is, is bandaging the wounds. He's just like, whoa, I think really, this teeth um, really got into you. Gith, yeah. uh, what the hell? Gith, can you do me, Gith, can you do me a favor? I want you to go. I want you to find somebody who can take this partially burned bo uh, barrel of oil away from here before it breaks. Maybe that's what we throw in the ocean. <laughs> we shouldn't throw oil into the ocean. No, we shouldn't. That's just bad that optics. Bad idea. And he that's just kind of takes him a moment to like... Go down to the public beach and toss a barrel of oil into the water. You need a seagull or something. I bet I could get more cheers <laughs> throwing the goblins in and the barrel of oil. I'm just saying. There's no the barrel of oil though. is no longer on fire, so it's it's no longer yeah. a threat. Is it structurally sound? I mean, he uses it for his cooking. It's everything is fried that, that um, Grunka sells. Oh my god. That's the name of her Ooh. of the stall is uh, everything fried. Right? Uh, oh, actually, I know. Hey, yeah. how about you use crafting? Pelmo's pickle hut. Barrel. Pelmo's pickle hut and everything fried. The two oh, shops. I love it. Well, and there's a whole bunch of food pickle. vendors along the aisle here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm wait a minute. Buy... Yeah. Oh, hold on. Hold on a second. One of them is, makes pickles and the other one makes fried food and they're complaining that they were too similar. I, yes, goblins are territorial. Is that, is that correct? Goblin cuisine. No, goblins are territorial. They're kind of arguing that face. that goblins also, yeah, and mm -hmm. um, they're mm -hmm. arguing that no, nobody's going to want you know food stalls so close to each other. I, I have an idea. Perhaps What's you that? could work together <laughs> and make fried pickles. Uh, like pickles. The star of the festival. What? And they look at each and other. If you, could, if you could deep fry me a pickled egg, I would be very no. happy. They look at each other and they, sta they, st good. they stare at each other for a long time and then they embrace. <laughs> they passionately kiss. Let us, let us <laughs> consummate this union of pickle and, and, and oil. Oh, so no, but they look at each other like, oh. they're just like, okay. Pickle chips are so good, dude. And as quickly as it starts, you know, it's just, it's over. It's completely um, diffused. Congratulations. Uh, although you did not solve it nonviolently. Um, <laughs> Despite our best. Um, you do get. I, I feel okay. You do get 40 experience points. Congratulations. Oh, nice. That's one thing I forgot to mention that um, obviously. The reason I'm, we're doing experience and not milestone is because you get higher rewards for dealing with the situation before it escalates into violence. Yeah. So this one Just to look back on that, if someone had shouted at them or used diplomacy successfully, it would have completely diffused the situation. But that's so don't boring. try to grapple them, yell at them. First. That's boring. <laughs> Use no, but that works because that word. it's fine. You didn't fail the encounter. You know what I mean? Yeah, and like at the point Not at which they're failure. throwing alchemist fire in a crowded market, I feel okay the situation escalated. Out. They're kind of the yeah. ones that escalated it. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel yeah. bad about it at all. Mm -hmm. Nope. Yep. And now they're gonna fry pickles. Yep, and you've invented the fried pickle. Hell yeah! Level two. No. By the yeah. way, have you have you tried a scotch egg? Scotch eggs are good. No, okay. I've heard. Say so if you like deep fried 
eggs, then yeah. Mm -hmm. I could imagine you'd like that. Good. Yes, scotch eggs are good. Okay. So, um, that concludes that uh, event, so to speak. Let's take it home. Oh, oh it ends the combat too? That's pretty cool. Oh, that's handy. Um, I'm going to disappear for like a minute and I will be right back. Okay. Do we want to just do bio? Yeah, why don't we just do a bio? Be a bit. Oh, Lily, do you want to look at the timestamp? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 10 02, or, or four minutes. Uh, There'll probably be a timestamp of the recording. Oh, oh. <laughs> this, this went so bad so fast. All I wanted was to wrestle a little guy. <laughs> you got him. You got to a reposition. Uh, yeah, I, I get... Yeah. You know, in his defense, in my mind, you know, he was someone was just grabbing him and he just bit back because he didn't know what was going yeah. on. She, She's more about the action, not the... Mm -hmm. not the talk about it kind of person. And for the life of me, I have not been consistent to an accent, but we'll, we'll, we'll find her voice. <laughs> You'll get there. All right. Let's say goodbye to these silly gooses. everything. Speaking of pickles, we love a dill pickle chip. Mm, pickles. A uh, little bit of a Dr. Pep. Perfect. Time stamp. Have you tried one of those Kool-Aid pickles? No. I can't. I can't make myself try one either. Kool Aid pickle? What the hell is that even? What? I don't know. It's something from the Texas State Fair. Where yeah, they I've like... seen it. A little insight they, like, into that explosive barrel. I think they like replace some of the pickle brine with like Kool Aid. Hmm. It just sounds horrible. Well, Kool-Aid isn't sweet, right? So it just adds whatever weird fruit flavor they're going for. Uh, I mean, I guess. It also will color the pickle a funny color, which I think is probably the more important thing. I was never eating a pickle and been like, you know what would make this better if it tasted like grape? If it was red, white, and blue? You could make America pickles, dude. I think that sells. But how itself. do you make the pickles like that? I don't you know. Add a, you add a dry packet of Kool Aid to the brine, because dry packets of Kool Aid don't have sugar. It's just the. Color oh, is that when you're making flavor. the pickle, or do you can you could just buy pickles yeah, and then do it the afterwards? Pickle. I don't think you can do it on already done pickles. You, you know? probably could. It would require them to soak for longer. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, 20 points of damage. That's how much damage the barrels would have caused. They would have that killed, would have outright all killed of multiple people. All of it. <laughs> the it wouldn't kill me. Have is 20. Anybody who has 10 hit points would have, could have potentially died. No, I'm sorry. If you critically fail that, if you, oh, yeah. if you were to critically no. fail that, you would be dead. I mean, I think that would kill so, any person. Just character. think about that. Jeez. This could have happened. Uh -huh. We could have lost the character in the first. It it was theoretically possible for it to happen. I mean, Conti apparently wants me to die. 
for some reason. Why say that? La the last stream, they were like, I bet Wen's going to die today. Oh. But yeah, they were taking bets. <laughs> <laughs> Against no one, though, I think. I guess we know Conti's the the uh, the mean girl. She's just not a people person. Mm -mm. You know not a geese goose. Her fist is a talking. She didn't even touch anybody. She just tried to wrestle. Yeah, Lily was the one who who assaulted a goblin. No, I did we assault a goblin. About, we were talking about last week when you uh, were betting that I was going to die. Oh yeah, that, I should have put money on me. <laughs> that goblin took half my health. Right. Apparently, the barrel, had it gone off, was going to do twenty points of damage. Uh, on a regular hit. <laughs> and then I would have crit failed and would have killed me. Right. Are you sure? Are you sure you have a lotus on the back of your neck and like I don't know a skull or something? Target. Ooh, a target. Good one. Uh, feels like it. Okay. So, let's continue. We have some... We still have an hour to go. That's nice. Okay. Uh, so, you continue on the rest of your patrol um, past the, the Spiral Shrine, which has been one of the longest uh, remaining structures in the Precipice Quarter, where um, a reclusive group of Pharasmites... Uh, sorority, so to speak, kind of set up shop here to help battle the undead, put them to, put them to rest once and for all uh, after the great earthquake two decades ago, which unleashed this all this all this um, dark energy uh, came about. Uh, and uh, let's do another round of percepts. Sure thing. Have I been in or around um, the Spiral Shrine at all in my time here? Um, very great. much possibly, yes. A lot of the clearing teams, you know, had um, had some sort of, of resources, either for Asmin or um, Knights of Ozum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's totally entirely possible. Okay. Uh, so you heading down more of some of this area here is is composed of, of a lot of shops and inns. Um, lots of little little places to go shopping. There's a lot of foot traffic around here, especially due to the, the beach being right there. And we are in the summertime, so there's lots of people out there with flip-flops and beach gear, um, sand on the street. You can see um, three women just well-dressed uh, who, who look like they just possibly just met and are taking off their shoes and showing it to each other. Just a little bit of an odd scene there. Um, this big chubby nobleman kind of waddles past you. Kind of looks, turns his head up as he sees you guys and <laughs> kind of waddle past him, got some walking around with some kind of attitude about him. I'll lean over to Conti. I'll lean over to Conti and I'll say, that man travels more side to side than he does forward when he walks. Uh, then... as, uh, after, after he's like 15 feet beyond us, I'm going to cast my figment and make it sound like he did a big wet fart. <laughs> oh! Everybody around, everybody around is like, oh, my goodness! Oh! How atrocious! He's like, What? I didn't do that. Who did that? I don't fart. I don't fart. I, my farts don't stink. 
kitchen. I see a doctor. Uh, down the street, you can hear sounds of construction uh, where there is a very um, large area kind of fenced off. Uh, looks like some kind of secret construction project is happening uh, that will be unveiled at a, at a later date. They're probably scrambling to fit this thing finished before tomorrow. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said, there's a there's a there's a street of like taverns. Um, and by this time, I think you've walked around a lot, and we're gonna say that it's been like you know a few hours now. Um, you know, we're going to advance the hours. Probably it's getting close to like sunset by now. Like you've done so much stuff already walking around. Um, you may, this might be your second loop in. Um, and I will say that, yeah, over here, when you guys were out here, um, you know, this beautiful silver lawn, it's called, where it, um, uh, yeah, pull up some, something for that. Uh, my tiles are not working. It's really annoying. Um, yeah, well, these are full of international exhibits that are just very large, that need a lot of space, uh, to to show off uh there is a gyroscopic towers of kelesh there is this dragonfly shaped building that uh has a bunch of scaffolds around it and stuff but it is amazing to look at especially in the um the setting sun where the wings of this dragonfly um, structure kind of glisten and reflect the the light uh, in a, a multicolored faceted uh, display and uh, it really does look like a dragonfly uh, but it looks like this that is still under construction uh looks like folks are still working there um Maybe tomorrow it's fine yeah yeah so far is really fascinated by all this stuff and is yeah these are huge scale product uh, pro projects that are on display um there is a a little zoo right over here that is going to be opening soon as well Ooh. uh it's called knight's marvelous menagerie which is a um an open air zoo featuring uh, all these wonderful creatures uh, from afar. And uh, you also spot um, in the open field, probably around here, an absolutely enormous area has been blocked off. Uh, and there is a kind of tarp over this structure within this uh, blocked off area, like fenced off area. And it is towering, but you can just kind of barely kind of see the shape of it. Uh, it's like angular and you really can't tell what the hell it is. It's not a building or if it is, it's it's very it's a very odd shape. Uh, it has protrusions that you kind of stick outward. But again, you can't see details because of the tarp. Um, but um, there is uh, sounds of construction happening from from in there. Uh, and then, yeah, so you, by the time you, you make your way back to the area with all the taverns and stuff, and um, you can hear a loud crash come from one of the taverns um, on your route. It's a bar fight. And uh, you hear uh, some, some bellowing laughter. Uh, and the door smashes open. And out comes this, um, I don't know, he's kind of like a skinny, well-dressed, uh, we'll say half-elf, comes stumbling out. He's in a nice suit. Yeah, and he's got a cane. And he's walking out with a cane, but he has, like, a, he's got a top hat, you know, 
He's dressed up. Uh, and he's got like a, um, what looks to be a rag or something pressed to his face by it with his hand. And, um, you know, looking at uh, Conti, uh, you can see that the, that the rag has, you know, there's blood coming out from the rag and down his arm. Uh, and he stumbles out and he's kind of, you know, half blind with his cane. And you hear some laughter happening inside, like, <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> and he kind of, he's just kind of hobbling uh, down the stairs and he like trips as he's going down the stairs because he can't see so well, that perception and all that. And he kind of like stumbles and falls and kind of yeah, kicks like, up some dirt. Rush forward, and like, some people are like, ooh, 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 ruffians, ooh, drunkards. Yeah. Ah. Yes, but uh, so Conti runs up. Yes, yeah, I'll meander to after. Try to help him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to run, I'll meander, but yeah. Sir, sir. Okay. <clears throat> um, is laughing too? No, there's somebody laughing from inside the tavern. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, can't you you approach him and you what do you say? Sir. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, you startled me. <laughs> and I've like got like a hand. And he's kind of he's got his uh, you know he's like covered his eyes so he's got to like got a what oh. Oh, the watch. I see. Oh, hello. Yes, sir. Auntie. Oh, God. Oh, do you have any way of helping him with his eye? She puts a hand up to you. A little rude. Sir, uh, <laughs> would you mind sitting down for a moment? I'd love to take a look at your wound. I, uh, I, I suppose he looks around like he's looking for someone. Um... Well, uh, yes, I, I suppose I don't see my assistant around, so... Uh, do you haven't seen a, a half-orc woman by any chance? Or? No, I'm, I'm sorry. Any more particular description? There are many half-orcs in this well, city. Well, she's, she's, um, she's my assistant. Uh, she's a good friend of mine. She's got a uh, kind of a, a grayish pallor to her. Um, rather charming, uh, Considered attractive by some, I suppose, and he just keeps going on and on and on and on and on. Typical dress name. Doesn't seem too concerned things. about like the, the the wound in his face, or or like doesn't seem traumatized or anything. Uh, but as you also are closer, um, you can hear stuff shattering, um, and some some hollering and hooting. Uh, can I can I go over and open the door and step in? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. FBI. So uh, peering in, um, do you make a scene of it or are you just kind of trying to be sneaky? Um, no, I'm trying to catch their attention. Okay. So you you make take no precautions on being stealthy. You just kind of burst it open. Um, yep. All right, and inside uh, you can see um, there's a scene going on here. Um, the, first of all, this this bar is called the the Tipsy Tengu, <laughs> and uh, as you kind of got closer to um, the uh, the entrance, you can see uh, a sign hanging from the door that looks like it's like a flip sign. Right? Um, and it says, Adventurers Welcome on it. Oh, they, they specifically told us we're not adventurers. <laughs> not allowed in there. Um, and you can see like a, like a motley group of clearly drunken adventurers are, 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 are causing this chaos in this in this in is this a, uh, bar and is it a druid a witch <laughs> an alchemist and, oh my god a having, a, having a party and a dwarf um, in a diving yes suit. <laughs> there there is a there is a dwarf there um in a horned helmet okay and um 
he is very loud. He's the one that's clearly shouting and uh, making all this 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 ruckus. Um, there is an elf who is in robes and she has her head like on the table. Looks like she is completely plastered. Um, there is a, another fella who's wearing like a kind of a robe, but you can see he's wearing armor underneath it. And he is on the table giving this impassioned speech, but he's like woozy and he's got his, he's got this breadstick and he's waving it around. Um, feast everyone, let's have the divine liquor that is bestowed upon us by my by the accidental god and my patron the patron of all tavern dwellers drink be merry and he kind of falls off the table uh and collapses like onto uh, like a serving woman who had like all this food she was bringing to the table is trying to get around them and just completely knocks the whole tray over sends all the food flying and the elf picks her head up and is just like sees what happens. She starts laughing. <laughs> but you could also see Ran uh, Randy. Just, she's got like um, her mascara is dripping, <laughs> like she's been crying about something. Uh, the dwarf is bawling over in 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 laughter at seeing the scene as this idiot falls off the table, the table that he's sitting at. You know. Uh, and onto the onto the onto the serving woman and just knocking all the food over, and everybody's just like groaning, and most of the people in this bar are um, look to be like they're not adventurers, you know. They look to be dressed, and they look they're very nervous, um, and and a little very very nervous. Yes, and. Um, the dwarf hasn't seen you. His back is kind of to you. But um, since you are making your, your, your presence known, um, you are approached immediately by a concerned uh, yet smiling uh, halfling woman um, who I will share in just a moment here. Nope, that's not it. There she is. Uh... I was going to say, I don't appreciate this video you got of me on a Friday night last week. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, she comes She comes up uh, up to you. Uh, she's got this little gap in her teeth. And she's like, oh, what? Hello, the watch. Oh, this is what she looks like. Um... <laughs> Hello, my God. Well, Another child in his Well, family. well, well, uh, I didn't think to have to have the summer to watch so soon, but oh my goodness, you're here. Oh my I mean I, I decided to open up the, the, the bar to adventurers in the in the later hours of the evening, but things are have gotten a little out of control. Is it just you? I fear no. that uh, things are escalating here and she a cup goes flying over her head, just misses her by inches. And and it's the dwarf. He's like, Red morning, my hair! Over 30 seconds ago! Where's bring me more, hair witch! And she's like, uh, uh, you, you see what I mean? Uh, I do. Uh, let me go have a word with them and see if we can sort this out. I'm sure they'll be extremely reasonable. And, uh, you know, the guy outside was clearly hit by something. Uh, by uh, this, this. Someone is throwing stuff at him. Uh, are you doing something with his wound or anything, Conti? Uh, yes, I am. Well, so, so Savara would, Savara would, like, jump in and be like, I think you are much better in a fight than I... Uh, God damn it, I keep doing Kavigi. I can't stop it. <laughs> um, um, shit. All right, where's Savara? Um, I think that you are much better in a fight than I am. You go in and I will help him. And she pulls out her healer's tools. <laughs> oh, I think I think if Conti oh, so... was, was leaned down and Savara was leaned down, I think you'll let us halfway up the stairs too, probably. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. So Wendelin will not be alone for long, I imagine. 
Oh, there's a fight. <laughs> oh, oh no, no, not on my account. Just some, I, I just some out of, con- you know, things got out of hand. I'm sure I, you know, I there's a, and then you hear, um, as you guys are kind of, the three of you are going up the stairs uh, towards the uh, entrance and into the tavern. Um, Savara, the kind of shadow looms over you. <laughs> What's going on here? Pretty standard uh, group of adventurers enjoying their... Oh, no, no, no. This is Savara. You guys are... Savara, not Wendelin. You guys yeah. are at the uh, entrance. Yeah. Um, you hear a somebody, voice. What, what's, what's the meaning of this? What's happening here? Um, she looks. Who does she see? Uh, it is a um, kind of grayish colored uh, half orc. That some might call attractive. That some might call attractive. Yes. Um, I'm sorry. She, she's a she's more greenish. Sorry. I don't know why I said gray. Yeah. Well, um, orcs can range. Yeah. Um, Savara says. Oh, um, is, is the, is the Oh, one? yes, he's like Relso, my, my protector and savior. What, how wonderful to, s- where have you been? She's like, what happened? Are you, are you, are you being detained right now? And she has like a bag of groceries. <laughs> <laughs> Savara's like, like, she's trying to like patch him up. She's trying to like pull, uh-huh. his, pull the cloth down and like check out his eye. And, okay, you know, yeah. So give me your medicine it. check uh, okay. as you just kind of. If you poke it out, okay. Oh, he's he's wiggling a lot. <laughs> yeah, you're trying. He's like, oh no, I'm fine. He's like, oh, we, we can, let's get back to the end, and we can set, we can fix you up there, uh, unless um, you're being detained or something. She seems apprehensive. Doesn't seem very friendly. Um, Savara says, um, well, uh, I, I suppose we do need to. Ask if you're in a fight. We need to find out what's going. No, on. no, not at all, not at all. I'm depressed. No charges. Really, it was something. It was an accident. Things happen. You know, I, I, I might have said something I shouldn't have said. It's okay. Really, I just. Can you tell me what happened, please? Well, you can see for yourself. Things are getting a little out of control in there. I mean, I thought this place was a little more respectable, but I guess old Belly felt it. Uh, uh, Bit to invite adventurers in to spice things up, I guess? I, I really don't know. I mean, I usually come here for a little bit of tea before I head back to, uh, you know, my inn. I am the proprietor of, uh, of the Galari Inn. Uh, it is quite a, uh, a fantastic place. And what, you don't like the name? What? No. She, Galarian. Savara did that. I did that. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Galarian. Um, oh, does, but it's wonderful. You should see it. I've got rooms from all places and all all over Galaria, and each room has its own theme. It's it's quite fascinating. It's amazing. Um, can I roll society to see if I know who this is? Uh, is yeah. Is sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, no, you don't know um, who he is, but... Um, I mean, she calls him Hendred. Yeah, Hendred, we should be going now. But, 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 um, but. <laughs> she like she she wants. And he to kind of stands away. up. He's like, really, it's not yeah. a problem. Yeah, if you'd like to find me to take a statement, you can find me at the at the Galaria, and it's fine. But Galarian, really, that's so good. It's finally clicked for you, eh? Um, but she. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, we we might have questions for you. Yeah, so it goes on to say, I wants mean, him to stop, but she's not gonna like make yeah. him stop. But but the half work is like, let's go. We we have to go. Hendrix is that what you said his name was? Hendred. Hendred. He busts out into a guitar solo. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, and he kind of gives you a. He's a very handsome looking fella as well. So he maybe gives you like a, a little bit of a smile and a charming wink but you can't tell he's winking because it's bandaged up so maybe it looks like a blink (laughs) yeah but apparently I didn't bandage very well 
Yes. Um, okay. So stepping into the inn now, um, you can see the, the scene before you uh, as there's this chaos is just going on. Um, I will say that Savara coming onto the scene, uh, you can see that there are um, three rabble rousers, but there are four seats. I find that to be a little odd. You know, like four chairs that have been in use. <clears throat> Is it odd with a capital O? Might be. <laughs> All right. So, how what what are you guys uh, gonna do? Um, Gwendolyn was here first, so I'll give you first yeah. crack. Yeah. So I was just gonna come in and immediately try um, a diplomacy check to see if I could get them to like calm down and focus on me. Okay. Um, All right. And um, who is that? Who is gonna be the focus of your diplomacy? Uh, probably the dwarf. Okay. I'm just going to stand behind, uh, them. Him. Her. Her. She, they. She, they. So as far as the, as, uh, as the tavern goes, just to give you some, some idea, um, you know, it's a, it's a room, it's a common room, there's a bar, there's a kitchen, there's a stable out back. Uh, and there's an upstairs area with bedrooms, most likely. Comfy is going to stand behind her looking like the muscle while you go ahead and explain like, hey, baby, chill. She's going to like cross her arms. Uh huh. All right. So basically, I, I kind of get his attention. Be like, excuse me. You are being very disruptive. And here in Absalom, when you are disruptive, it costs money. Okay, so his so, back is to you. And, oh, really? So Yeah. Remember he said he didn't see you come around. in? No. Okay, well, I go up and I tap him first mm -hmm. before I start talking to him. Okay. <clears throat> and he snaps his head back at you. Don't you touch me! kind of growls at you and he pushes you forcefully. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's let's go to the tipsy tango. Alright. Um Oh. Okay, agents assemble. All right, so you've opened the doors and stepped in. There's Bellberry. Uh, okay, and uh, the, the people are whatever. They're just around. I'm, I'm not going to be dropping tokens like this on every map. So I kind of was bored one day. But uh, there's people all over. You can add people and create people, of course, as always. Uh, there we go. Do a little zoom in there. All right. Uh, and you guys are up top here. Uh, so where's when? Oh, when's this? Right okay, there. you're already in position. Okay. Yes. So, yes, the dwarf will probably be here, actually. Sorry. Oh, okay. Okay, then yeah. I will be. We're all going to move back here. <laughs> this guy kind of fell off the table and knocked on this wench. Um, yeah, and these are like chairs, not benches. Just. Okay, so he's going to try and uh, push you away forcefully. Uh, he's a little tipsy, though, so. Not in the greatest of form. 13. Uh, 13 is... I should have used the macro. Uh -huh. uh, 13 will not beat your 4 and 2 DC, will it? No. Okay. No, that misses. Okay. So he bleh, just kind of fumbles a bit. And then the uh, the elf picks her head up and is like, What? 
and she pours some more wine and she just, like, drinks it. Oh, I can't believe he's dead. I can't believe he's dead. Oh, woe is me. And then this guy's like, Fear not, for they live on in our memories and another round for everyone. A, a toast to the greatest of all familiars. Okay. What was, uh, what was, what was his name again? Oh my God, how can you not even remember? His... I hate you. So the dwarf rebuffed Wen's sort of attempt to solve it diplomatically. Yeah. Uh, well, oh, he I, was I, he was didn't appreciate it. Yeah. All right. I think then seeing that Elena would be kind of try the other tack, which is, hey, you, enough. This is not the wilds of Avistan. Um, and I'm going to attempt to like kind of cow him and just stop being rough and rowdy for a second. Like listen to us. Um, so I'll roll intimidation. Uh. I am interacting with uh, freelance adventurers, so I get a plus one to this. Looking. Oh. Yeah. What is that from? My background. I am going to reroll that. Use My goodness. Play. We're not. We're okay. So that is against who? We're not rolling. Up. The dwarf. Right? Uh, the dwarf. I am okay. Targeted. Okay. That but is I a guess success. It wasn't so you're trying to demoralize them? Okay. No, I wasn't. I'm saying it's not. Like I'm just. Oh, 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 gotcha. To to yeah. Hey, understand. calm down understand. and listen to us, all right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Where? It has a note there that says I'm interacting with harbor guards, ship captains, or freelance adventurers. That's amazing. Pretty cool. Yeah. It will never come in handy again. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, it could. <laughs> it could. <laughs> it could. You know? Okay, he kind of stops for a moment. You know, he's like, mm -hmm. and this Ooh. the elf is like, his name was Runkles the Raven, you sad. And she, um, fires a blast of magic at him. I see her look going to cast a spell. Yes, Ooh. and she's like. Ooh. Can I say can Whoa. I stick my fingers in her mouth to stop her from doing that? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, Fuck it. Fuck it. Uh, Fuck it. Okay. Bit where you try to poke her in the eyes and they go. <laughs> she is stupefied, anyway. but she still makes the spell. Wow, uh, natural 20. <laughs> so she hits him. Bam! And he kind of like falls to the ground. Doesn't seem to have taken any damage, but uh, he's covered in like some kind of goop. Um, what kind of elf is this? A drunk one. An elf that shoots goop at people? I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyways, I can I try to calm her down with like a diplomacy check so that like she'll stop shooting whatever she's shooting. Yes, but I think we need to let everyone else try and do sure. something since you've you've already uh, approached the dwarf. Anybody else doing anything? No. Yeah. I mean, oh, you can go ahead. Oh, sorry. Just like when Savara first walked in and noticed the like empty chair, um, she immediately would be looking around and trying to see any other signs, like you know, like a blood splattered trail or anything that's out of place okay. or something that might. So you give me a perception so, check. Yeah. Um, I, I imagine that happened before all of this other stuff broke out. So, not to be that guy, but did you notice that there are two tokens with the exact same face? Is yes. that the fourth person? <laughs> uh oh. You've There's seen through my deception. Um, all right, Savara. Um, you can see that over here at this table, um, there's some. Folks sitting sitting at the table there, a couple of humans, uh, and there is a halfling there who is kind of standing there talking to them and joking and laughing, and you clearly see him uh, during one like you know pat on the back, completely pickpocket that dude. 
and is like, ah, <laughs> and just goes um, over back to the bar. Uh, over okay. Here. Over there. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> um, uh, right here, yeah. Yeah. Okay, but that doesn't seem to be related to the empty chair. Um, that's one of the know. adventurers. Could be. Could be. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's dressed. He looks like an adventurer. He doesn't look like a noble. Yeah. He's, he's wearing uh, leather armor. So most of the people. And has look like, like a dagger, you know. So. He also has uh, the sloshed uh, debuff. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he's very sloshed. Okay, and then uh, Kanthi, is, did you say you were doing something? Yeah, she's going to go up to the, the woman who, who cast the spell, the elf, and kind of try to, like, knock her, knock a little bit of, of sobriety into her. Not, like, physically, but, like, hey, 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 you are in a public place. Get a hold of yourself. Okay, so this is diplomacy, then? Yes. Oh. What's going on with my... How did that happen? 21. It was like, uh, like a snap in her face. Why is this like... happening? Showing the GM sidebar. That's weird. Fuck you, man. I say fuck you. Okay. Uh... Fuck you. Mm, there it is. A long time since I've heard oh. that song. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Alright, what did you roll? Sorry. 21. 21, okay. Um, she's like, my familiar time. It's, uh, it's so sad. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Do you, do you, do you care? Do you care about Rankles the Raven? He was my... She is so blasted. He was my best friend. Stupid Bolvar wants to go... One more room, he said. What's one more room? You know, we were like, well, I'm out of spell Wait. slots, man. What else am I supposed to mine? do? Wait, your raven was your tank? <laughs> How did your raven And now Rankles is dead. All because of stupid bullseye. I, what I need you to do is go to sleep, and then in the morning get a scroll of Ray's dead. And you can bring him back. Very easy. There's nothing to be a big deal. Those are expensive. You don't know anything. You're just a stupid god of Absalom. You don't have to worry about these things. When we do. We go out there to the siege towers and we explore them for, for treasure. I mean, for. For fighting the monsters and make sure they don't come to Absalom, you know, we, the city is so important. Without us, we can, we don't, I don't even know what I'm saying. Could I, can I, can I do? You've uh, technically succeeded at your check. She looks back and mouths, help me. Yeah, can I do a quick recall knowledge first on how, if I know, know how familiars work? Yeah, then, can you uh, I'll back? Try it yeah, you could do uh, arcane or uh, cult, I suppose. But if you're thinking cool. of a wizard, I'm... Is your wheat to get a new one or something? I don't know. Oh, I'm supposed to hide that. I'm sorry. <laughs> what did you roll? <clears throat> Find GM. There we are. There you go. Yeah, re-roll that shit. <laughs> Damn it! Hold on. Okay, you have no idea how familiars come back if they ever do or don't or what. Uh, so I'll go over and say, hey, hey, I understand that this is very traumatic. What lodge are you with? Hmm? What lodge are you working with right now? Uh, lodge? What? You're, independent You're not working with a lodge? No, we're independents. 
Might I recommend seeking? What's our name again? Uh, and um, hey, the uh, the, uh, the 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 dude, the human of the group. Uh, God damn it! Did I critically fail? By the way, the, you you rolled awful. poorly. Did I critically fail? Because I have two. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So, um, right. So when you fail, you get a true and a false or something, right? Yeah. And I do not know which one to switch. Right. Okay. Uh, so a familiar replacing a familiar is a, is an ordeal that requires the blood, blood of a small child. <laughs> And the other one, the other one, it takes a week uh, or so. Hey, I need that. Can it take a week, or we need to we need to find a? The dwarf might count as a small child. Yeah, I think honestly, I think what it is is like Yelena's trying to call back to the fairy tale she knows, like. She knows the familiars can't come back and they're tied to witches, witches who would cook people and eat them. <laughs> you know, like Baba Yaga from the Tales of Yore. So, in her mind, the two are like kind of competing information. She's just like, look, you can probably get your familiar back, but the way that you're acting right now in public is likely to get you kicked out instead. I understand that you want to have a nice time, you want to have good drinks and, and celebrate and mourn the passing of your familiar whose name was... Rankles. His name is Rank. 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 What a lovely name. It's a good name for a crow. A crow. It's cute. Raven. Rankles the crow. A raven. I'm sorry. Runkles. Right? Runkles. I can't even remember anymore. This is the worst day it's of okay. my life. You. And I will point across the table to the guy who clearly worships Kate and Kaylee. Surely you can help your friend here more and move on less disruptively, okay? I don't want to kick any of you out, but I will if you continue to create a disturbance for the other guests. Hmm? Okay, so you're going to make a check now for the... Yeah, this is diplomacy. I'm untrained, but I'm also still interacting with people, so, you know, there we go. Here it goes. Oh, yeah. Nope. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Are we? Maybe you suggest that she just go murder a child. <laughs> I think I just like step on her foot. And like it just like I step on her foot really hard and maybe she yells or something. Like I don't know. Yeah. Like it could be real like, I No, I, I think I think you should definitely suggest to her, well, at least you kept the, the corpse so you could eat it to gain its power, right? <laughs> so the um, the dude that has the breadstick that's waving it around menacingly and, and he has a stein in the other hand puts his stands up on a chair kind of teeters and totters a bit my friends and others I suppose I say that in Honor of Spunkles the Raven that as part of the splendid Spelunkers last hurrah what's for the burning banshees not the splendid Spelunkers we've talked about this already ah silence you diminutive demon or I shall banish you back to the hell that spawned your disgusting little body. I say that as a final hurrah, we shall slay these pretenders. Are you? For Spunkles! And he takes the. Takes a breadstick and chucks it right at Yelena. Okay. I mean, it's a breadstick. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't think I mind. I go into gorilla stance. <laughs> well, I'm Wendell, Wendell and stepping forward, and Savage needs to 
do something, I think, as well, right? Uh, let's see. I mean, that, there was a lot of time there. She she was going to come over and, uh, like, keep an eye on the sapling, yeah. Like, during all that, she would have walked over here. All right, so let's uh, let's see what this breadstick does. <laughs> Was it a soft breadstick or a crunchy? Bread? Well, I guess we'll soon find out. It's as like a Yoletta exactly is bow, no. bumped on the head Ow. with a breadstick that um, just kind of like yeah, it just bashes in you in the head. Doesn't do any damage. If it was a crit, that would have been amazing. Because then that would have been great. <laughs> it would have been right into your eye or something. Um, wow. The garlic, it burns. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Bal uh, the dwarf is like, yes! And he picks up a chair. Can uh, I try to talk well, him we're rolling, down? We're rolling initiative. Huh. Yeah. No, the critical fail was all you needed. Uh, for oh, this to to go uh, south pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, has everyone added themselves to the tracker? Hold on. I'm clicking the button. Button. Oh, I, I, I'm already on the tracker, apparently. Yeah, I think I added you by mistake. So you're okay, good. Okay. I will roll initiative. Excellent. Okay, and who is? Oh, there's like a three-way tie. Yeah. Who is not in the initiative tracker. Twenty-one, twenty-one, twenty-one. Dwarf. All right, we're doing our combat, baby. Oh God. Oh my God. Okay, so <sighs> what do we got here? How does the Anish look? Uh. The tracker. I'm not saying uh, not a cab, but also I'm saying I get it. Uh -huh. Somehow the person who wasn't even really paying attention or wasn't like involved in any of that <laughs> gets to go first. Um, okay. But... Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. No. Uh, so Savara, <laughs> it's up yeah. first. Um, she sees, uh, the drunk dude chuck this, um, breadstick <laughs> at <laughs> Yelena, and I, I think she kind of panics a little bit, like, oh my god, oh my god, like, it's actually what do I do? <laughs> this is getting out of control. <laughs> Breadsticks flying. Um, yeah, I guess pepper spray would go well with the breadsticks. Um, okay. <laughs> um, so she is going to like fumble her crossbow off of her back. Oh um, my god! <laughs> oh, her crossbow! Holy shit! Whoa! She has um, yeah, she or she, she has special uh, blunted bolts. Hmm. Um, are you, are you allowing her to have, have had a loaded crossbow? <laughs> or am I going to need to load not. it? Uh, probably, probably not, not. No. Probably no. not. Okay. Um, all right. So then, so yeah, so then she'll grab a, one of her non-lethal bolts and, okay. and stick it in there. Um, and then, um, oh gosh. Okay. And then, is she gonna fire? I don't think she will. <laughs> um, I think, shit. It doesn't really make sense for her to come first. Um, okay. She's gonna- Well, okay, she could always she, delay then, you know? It's Yeah, well, well it's... no, 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 no. She's gonna, um, she's gonna be ready to um, aid um, Yelena in whatever attack or whatever she does because um does that make sense yeah mm. yeah yeah okay well she's 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 gonna ready an aid 
Okay. I gotta take another breadstick. Yeah. So. All right. Uh, the human that just threw the breadstick after declaring this great speech in honor of, 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 of Spanky. Spanky. Spanky the Grackle. Yeah. Um, has his mug and is going to uh, leap away and throw it at Wendelin. A mug? Yeah. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay, blah! Mug strikes Wendelin. Uh, this is non-lethal damage. Uh, dealing four points of damage to Wendelin. There's a tonk, cocks him in the head, and he's like, scored one! Oh, if only Jingles could see us now. Oh, there are two elves there. Sorry. Okay. If only Jingle Jangle could see us now. Oh, she'd be so proud of us, Muriel. You technically and, uh, deleted the one that had a name, by the way. Oh, uh, there we go. Yeah, because okay. that token referred to an actor that no longer exists in this world. <laughs> All right. Uh, Wendelin, you just got conked in the head with a mug. I sure did. And uh, they just fucked around and found out. <laughs> so we're going to open with this. Yeah. Oh, shit giving your own speech so what what, what oh. happens what do you say here what, what um i'm probably like all right well it looks like we're bringing some adventures into the junk uh tank tonight so uh go for the knees boys <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah all right and that gives everyone a uh plus one status bonus to attack rolls damage rolls and that's big Saves against fear. Oh God, I hope you don't need that. Ooh, and yeah. tosses a. What, what? What do you hit him with? Uh, I throw the mug right back at him with yeah, a yeah. telekinetic. A little pee pee. Okay. Oh, pee -pee. Does that hit him with a yep. seventeen? Oh, treachery! All right, Jesus Christ, 10 points of damage. <laughs> That's a really oh loud one. God. All right, he just... Probably a heavy mug. Uh, treachery! Oh, and he falls unconscious. <laughs> and then uh, as he falls down, I'm going to, like, just spin and as just voice. I'm going to look at the dwarf and say, Stand down! <laughs> Um, everyone should be able to drag that bonus onto your characters because I'm going to delete the aura. I think it's a little. Ooh, um, yes. The bonus is already on them. If, I don't know if does it stay on them after I delete yes, the aura. It will. Okay, perfect. Yeah, sorry, I should have deleted the aura. No, that's cool. Just uh, didn't want to do that while you were having your moment. Okay. I just oh, got this cool green okay. outline. All right, Elena. So I think I'm just, I'm not going to like, I'm not going to try to make it overly violent, but I'm going to put my hand on the dwarf's shoulder and like force him to sit down, um, like back into his, his, his chair, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, so I'll walk over here and I'll just like, all right, you need to stop, sit enough. Um, is it like a combat, like a, like a athletics thingy or? You're trying to. Force him down. Yeah, like they're like sit sit back down essentially, just like uh, hey, stop. Right. You no, know, sit that down. That would be a reposition. Down, That's reposition. So just roll it as an a yeah. athletics check. Guess I don't know. I could have seen it being a trip, to be honest. Mm. I'm no, just saying. Because he's pushing against him, that makes it more of a. Okay, so shove, right? A sh it's yeah, because you shove. That's fine. It's not in the. It will, it'll be in the game tomorrow. Officially. Oh, oh yeah. 24. Nice. 24 is a success. You plant him down. I don't want it. I'm a big boy now. I understand that you're a big boy, and big boys follow the rules, all right? 
like I'm talking to my child. <laughs> Enough! Do you have any other actions you want to do? Uh, one, two, I will point to the elf and say, Enough of that. Stop, you too. Okay. Uh, but I think, I guess it's an intimidate. Sure, I'll intimidate the you elf. Want to demoralize the demoralize her? Demoralize the elf. I Is that something to I can aid with? <laughs> Um, I had ready to need. I had ready to aid. You too. Well, mm, you have to be specific on what you're gonna aid. Did you say you were gonna aid? I was gonna aid Yelena with whatever she did. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine for now. I think we have to look into the aid action a little more carefully. Okay. But yeah, that's I fine. Haven't used it a whole lot. Did you uh, roll your demor Oh, you did. Okay. Yep, that's a success. Yeah, 19. Okay, so it won't matter. You, you can't push action. it into a crit, so yeah, it will not yeah. uh, matter. But she uh, is like, who? The mute here demoralize. Oh, oops! I have to do this. Yeah, one is a drag, the other is a. Click. It's weird. It's interesting that I didn't get the plus one on my athletics check from Inspire Courage. Um, it's not a, it's not an it's attack. An attack it wasn't role, an it? attack roll. No. Oh, even though it has just because it has trait? the attack trait doesn't make it an attack roll. Correct. Yeah, Got it. Good to know. Yeah, I think it's, there is. There's a little there weird nuance. Cool trip that uh, gives that bonus. But okay, I so the elf looks and she's like, "You get your hands, you get your hands off of him. That's our leader." He's like. I thought I was the leader. But he's unconscious, so. Uh, and then she's going to cast a spell. <laughs> going to do a flat check. Makes it. Barely. Oof. Okay. Uh, and the ground beneath um, Conthi and Yelena all becomes slimy and greasy. Oh, God. Uh, as she uh, casts uh, a spell that you're not sure what it is, but uh, I'll put it there like that, just so you know, because it is. Sure is, sure yeah. is greasy, eh? Um, Could it be? So, I need reflex a yes, or acrobatics. Click my token Inspire courage against fear effects. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a success. Uh, oh, you, you just okay. You rolled reflex. Uh, spell DC is. Why is... Oh, I gotta click the. the yeah. Button. But it's cool. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, Okay, you fail. Okay. So Yelena I slips and blah, lands prone in this sicky, sicky looking, <sighs> uh, sticky goo. Sticky, sticky goo. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Conte goes, oh. <laughs> all right. Are you all right? And, um, she stumbles backwards as well. Okay. And uh, that was her turn. Uh, right. And then um, coming out of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, now you were aiming the crossbow at this guy, right? Um, she, I mean, not really anybody in particular. She's just kind of like standing there, like ready, like looking right. around. Trying to figure right. out what to do. That's where the action's happening right now. Right. Uh, I mean, she, now the reason she was over there is she was watching the halfling. Oh, okay. Um, she because she saw the halfling steal pickpocket from the other guy. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So the halfling is going to uh, try and um, create a distraction. Mm -hmm. uh, he's gonna like throw something off to the side, see if he can. Uh, Sneak it past your wily defenses. Critically fails. So 
uh, unable to succeed, but he still comes in anyway. Um, but I'm not off guard, right? No, you are not off guard. Um, and he, um, oops, I forgot to give him a thing. Uh, he also has a mug. Uh, and he's trying to, he's going to try to kneecap you with it. My God. <laughs> uh, he moved. Yeah, he failed. Okay. All right, misses completely. Just you—you you caught him. You saw through his ruse, and uh, he tried to just knock you down. Uh, he's stumbling as well. Uh, can't. Uh, she is going to step forward, which I to face another reflex save from leaving the grease. Mm -hmm. uh, Hope that's a fail. 11. Do I fall or do I just not move? You. Um. Let's see. Your area. I can brush against. Uh, well, if you step, you don't. Oh have yeah, to you don't to have to attempt to check. To oh. if you're. Just, I, I, I was wondering about that. I was actually. Even better. Okay. So just yeah. step. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I'm gonna try diplomacy as she goes. Look, you are not helping yourself. What would your raven? What would your raven have wanted? Not this, certainly. I'm sure she would have wanted you to good night's sleep and mourn her in a more reasonable manner. Okay? And, uh... Whoop! Ooh! She's and just, Even in her... state. I have. She is not to do. easily. Yeah. Reasoned with. Did Did I get those manacles back? Uh. No. Yeah. Yeah. We released the. Oh yeah, you released yeah. them. Yeah. 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 I see. She's like. Oh, I can watch. I just try to grapple her. I don't. I don't. I'm just gonna, like go for her, her like midsection, okay. like with leading with her shoulder. All right. Twenty-three. That is a success. Um... Stop! Stop this! That is against her fortitude DC. That's a critical success, actually. Nice. Mm -hmm. I don't Jesus. know if she's sitting on a grapple. She's having a... She's fully restrained. restrained. Yeah. yeah. Fully restrained. Then next turn I will put manacles on her. Okay. All right. Um, at seeing the... At seeing um, Muriel get restrained, uh, the human breadstick thrower Unconscious. The dwarf is like, All right, we surrender! No more fighting! We don't want to fight no more! Wake him up! Finally! <laughs> Scabs, leave her alone! He's call, he calls out to the half thing. Aw, oh, me, boss! Come on, boss! Oh, I'm fine. We're, it's over. We're done. We can we give up, okay? We're okay. sorry. Good. Because if you pull this shit, again, the only thing you'll be exploring is the confines of a cell. Mm -hmm. Oh, get up, like, on wobbly legs, uh, t completely undermining my threat as I'm, like, trying to balance <laughs> something. <laughs> I mean, there's also the uh, cost that they've incurred. The fine. Yeah, I'll crawl out and I'll step up. The damage that they've oh, caused. Oh. Yeah, so you spend some time... Uh, giving Assessing them damages. Uh, yeah. their, their, their uh, ticketing and citations. Yeah, Savara makes the, the or, well, tells the it's athlete like a, to turn out their pockets. Yeah, it's a drunken disorderly, but it'll turn into evil. Oh, man! And he, like, has, he's got, like, 20 gold on him. I mean, 
bracelets. <laughs> Jesus and Christ. Like, and like bracelets and, and, and she's like, that's my brooch. My goodness. I didn't even know I was missing it. What the? You. And she, you know, realizes what's and She looks at the halfling. Yeah, so Savara Lots of other folk are like, hey, what? That's mine. That's mine. So now you have to sort out all this, mm -hmm. all this stuff. Um, Gucci gold. You know, mother yeah, looking at like he's been working 10 it. months rent. He's been working Just it. Like, <sighs> I know, right? Oh, it's a treasure. These are lots of I like, know. you know, dignitaries are here and um, uh, some higher up folk. And Bellberry is very grateful. So, thank you so much for what you've done here. I, I think that perhaps it was not a good idea to open up uh, a place to, to, to adventure us. I didn't think they'd be so rowdy. Oh. They they do tend to track in a little more... Um, Just trying to spice yes. things up, you know. <laughs> but I, I take rest. But thank you very much. and You're welcome to come here at any time. We appreciate it. Thank you. Are you sure you're going to be okay? I love this. You need this anything topic. else? <laughs> love that art. Yeah. What's her name again? Bellberry. Uh, Bellberry. I'll, I'll make her token name visible for you. Uh, and I'll, the last thing I'll say to this is, and look, if you want to have a scene that matches your energy, go to the harbor board. Okay? Over by the docks. The sailors will love you. You'll love the sailors. Ah, but the money's the here. The money's here. You know, this is this is my little place I've set up just for the just for the No, no, festival. no, not 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 Balberry. I'm talking to the doctor. Oh, if you want somebody, who, yeah. <laughs> if you want somebody who matches your energy, go to the harbor ward. This is not the place for it, bud. No, I don't want to go to the harbor ward. They have like a 10 p.m. quiet hours here. Do you want to deal with that shit? <laughs> What the hell reward? Nobody sleeps. Conti will help Muriel up. <laughs> we'll get the human up and like dust him off. <laughs> Little water. Someone just dropped some bits or something. I uh, kind of look down on the human I before anybody else comes over and I'm like, where's your god me? now? Where's your god now? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so he comes to he's like, all right, well, let's go, Spelunkers, I suppose. I thought you were the burning baby. On to the next adventure. The, the burning Gosh. Spelunkers, I don't maybe, even remember maybe anymore. Maybe workshop the name a little bit. Just a snitch. Yeah, I mean, the city attracts a lot of adventurers who go out into the surrounding areas where all the siege towers have been left over the thousands of years of multiple sieges and things end up living in these siege towers making lairs some you know even dig down to the underdark or the darklands so folks go out there for adventure it's a, it's an adventuring ground for uh, Absalom these folks were uh, one of those groups that didn't do so well um, what's the, um, what was the DC for figuring out how to get a familiar back? Would a 17 have done it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think okay. so. It's pretty common. On the way out, I tell Muriel, by the by the way, you can get your familiar back in a week. You I have know. to try. It's just not gonna be wrinkles, that's all. <laughs> I mean, it's literally built from your magic. It is going to be the exact thing that you built. You want it to be him, it is him. Really? Yeah. Okay. What do you think magic is? I don't know. Just and as it. as I say that, I kind of like form a raven like with a figment spell. And... All right. So, um, yes, just to peel back behind the curtain. I'm not going to do this every time, but because you guys really want to know, <clears throat> to diffuse that non-violently, you would have to succeed at a check against each individual. I? Um, I succeeded against Muriel until... You did. You almost had it out. until the crit fail came. Well, I crit failed the human. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I crit failed yeah. the human. Mm -hmm. It's just unfortunate. I don't think I could have crit failed that hard. 
But you do get you know, like you do get a nice juicy uh, eighty experience points for that. Oh yeah, we're hundred and twenty, baby. I think we didn't deserve that, but okay. Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> Why not? What do you mean? You're tearing this in apart. It were like you just saw, you, know, you, you you this the the, yeah, the situation needed weird. to be resolved. Well, what what did you what did you feel was going to be uh, a success? <laughs> Kicking their asses. I mean, we yeah, could have drugged them all outside and stole all their gear. Stole the twenty gold. And the yeah, way the AP is written, you take all their gear. It's pretty fucked up. <laughs> oh seriously? Yeah. Whoa, that is so out of line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Drunk and disorderly, give me your car. Like, wow. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah, it's a little, little, over, little much, especially at the time the AP, this AP came out. Like, was, yeah. No kidding. Yeah. There's a little, new, there's little nuances to that, but yeah. Um, all right, so uh, and so ends your first day of of the watch. We saw things. Uh, and the sun sets on Absalom. As the fairgoers begin to turn in, excited and anticipating the next day's opening festivities, surely it would be a day to remember for many people. Dun, dun, dun. And, uh, yeah, that that ends our first official sesh. Woo! All right. Hooray. Yeah, Sounds thanks like for running, get, sir. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that was neat. That was neat. Huzzah. Huzzah. Oh, good. OBS had zero memory leaks. So, Whoa, that's that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. I guess I will. See you. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, you guys have a great week. Um, I guess we yeah. will not be playing Keep next running. Tuesday then for Thanksgiving. Okay. Okay. Um, I I'm planning on being around. Yeah. I mean, I am too. So I mean, if you guys really want to play without me, you're welcome. No. To. We'll, we can all make traveler characters. Yeah, we could do something else. Yeah, we can do something yeah. else. For sure. Yeah, I'll be around. Uh, all right. Kind of cool beans. So we'll talk about it on the Discord. Sounds yeah. good. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good Later. night. Y'all have an and excellent uh, evening. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Oh, like, see ya. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Laters. <laughs>